Welcome to Shadow Story of Sonic 06 Part 1, starring me Zephyron and our buddy the Serial Killer, otherwise known as Shadow the Hedgehog. And of course, anything with Shadow the Hedgehog has to start up with some sort of amazingly epic gun battle shooting through sequence with lots of explosions, because explosions are cool. And so is Shadow. Except not really anymore, Shadow's just kind of stupid now. Colonel, it's a snake. I found the location of Metal Gear. I'm really surprised Konami didn't sue for this scene right here. As far as I'm concerned, Shadow is Snake, that's the Colonel, and this is Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear! And he just teleports, because, you know, he can do that now. He can teleport whenever he wants without a Chaos Emerald. Because, you know, those are things that happen in the game and that you totally can do. Once again, sigh. Anyway, we're back at the White Acropolis. This place drives people insane with its insaneness. And its cookies and your homing attacks that fail to activate. That happens a lot with Shadow. It's a really bad glitch. And it's not a very nice glitch, as you will see. Well, you won't really see, but... It happens, and it screws people over, and I just hack through that laser wall. Anyway, this is pretty basic, just to get you acquainted with uh, Shadow. His main deal that differs him from Sonic, aside from the fact that you can play in vehicles, is that if you continue to press A after doing a homing attack, he'll just continue to attack and do this crazy DBZ punch-kick fight style. It's pretty awesome. That robot just falls and nonchalantly turns around as if nothing happened. Because that's the way the cool kids do it. Really now? Who would hide the switch to their base outside the base? And at least carry it with you on a remote control or something. Get a garage door. Those are way, way more secure than these things. Who leaves their keys up there anyway? How how does Eggman get up there? Does he just climb the rock face? Press the A button to do stuff after doing your homing hack to deal additional damage. In other words, you will be attacking the weak point multiple times for massive damage. Yes, this is what happens. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Your shield is no match for Shadow the Hedgehog. Radical! No, really? Or it could just suck you into your doom, like a black hole would. Loading screens, how I've missed you. It's kind of sad coming back to this game after playing Sonic Unleashed. Because this game is a lot less awesome than Sonic Unleashed. It doesn't even deserve to compare to Sonic Unleashed, I swear to god. Oh god, it's Rouge. Do we do we need Rouge here, honestly? What purpose does she hold here other than just get some playtime? Hmm, excuse me. Ah, uh, here you go. So Rouge is a lot like Knuckles and she's like a Knuckles and Tails hybrid where she can throw bombs like Tails can, and she can glide like Knuckles can. And she has that same glitch where you cannot jump off the wall, just like Knuckles. So if you thought that was really stupid, prepare to, uh, I think it's even more stupid. As it gets stupider. This is some awfully Metal Gear music, wouldn't you agree? Okay, that's enough. We're almost at the end, thank god. We don't have to play as Rouge anymore. Ever again. No match for me and my wonderful Switch finding abilities. Why you, Shadow? The president who you once tried to kill in his airplane now wants you to come and save the world for him. What a guy. 
Here is where things get a lot worse. You get to be in a vehicle, just like in, you know, that one game that was really good, and it was critically acclaimed for wonderful gameplay styles. What, what was his name? Oh yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog. Because Sega does not learn from their mistakes anymore, and I forgot how to reverse, so let's just blow things up that's in our way, because that's the way America does it. And Shadow is American. At least he is now. And if he's not, he's a communist. Or an alien. Yes. Just because you're the son of Black Doom. Son of Black Doom. Why I did that, I have no idea. But yes, Shadow, just because you're the son of Black Doom doesn't mean you can't be American. We obligatory jumping into the air before entering a vehicle. Oh, we're being shot! Move, move, move! We're under attack! Man the battle stations! Someone save the cookies! Boom. Landing just did damage. Good god, that's something you can't actually prevent and it did damage. What the hell, Sega? Why do you design- why do you choose to design your games in this way? This way that is not practical, or useful, or fun in any way, shape, or form. But you choose to do it anyway. At least the Havoc physics engine is back with a vengeance. It was tamed in Sonic Unleashed, but now it's back in full force to blow shit up wherever it wants. Hoo-raw. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's just watch Shadow drive around aimlessly and flip his car over. Because that's what happens in real life. Why exactly are the searchlights posing such a huge problem? They're not even really looking at you. Couldn't you just like blow up the door with a missile? Instead of all the searchlights? Okay, so now we're going up here to find some more searchlights. That is Shadow's mission in life, to find searchlights. That is his true purpose. This is the good ending. Shadow goes on a mission to destroy all searchlights because he hates the light and wants to be emo and stuck in the dark all of eternity. I just blew up rocks by hitting them. How cool is that? Only in Sonic Unleashed will you find such a thing. We physically impossible. Doo doo. Let's just hit a wall. Because we can. Let's roll off a cliff because we forgot how to reverse. Let's climb up a searchlight. Which we cannot break because physics will not allow us to. And instead, we will make the searchlight go nuts and make the people shoot us. For which we say, do not shoot me, for I am Shadow the Hedgehog. You cannot kill me. I am like Rambo. Rambo never dies. No matter what you say. Ever. So we're back in Sonic 06, and we found a new buggy. So we're going to go kick that searchlight's ass once and for all. Round two, bitch. Bring it on! Revenge of the Metal Box. It is quite a revenge indeed. You cannot deny this. Learn from our mistakes and actually shoot the thing this time. And hit a wall, of course. And we reach the end, and is that Jeep still moving? Holy shit, it's coming towards us! Yeah, I wonder what would happen if that actually did make it to hit you. That would have been pretty awesome. To just have it knock you out of the results screen. And fall into an endless pit. That would be amazing. I need to stay focused. Well, that's the end of part one, guys. Join us again for part two of Shadow Story. Where I will do things. Maybe rant or two. Who knows? See you later.